Well, I'm, I'm here eating humble pie today because I've not been the greatest advocate of uh, women's boxing, but we're here today because uh, my head's been turned for the fantastic achievements that uh, this young lady has done in the sport. The fact that she's a double gold medal, Olympic gold medalist, that is in itself a massive achievement and she has changed my mind about women's boxing. So I'm delighted to say that we are introducing today Olympian, two times gold medal medalist, Nicola Adams. And I am delighted she's here. So ladies and gentlemen, the one and only Nicola Adams, OBE, MBE, and Frank Warren's newest signing. Welcome, Nicola. Welcome to BT Sport. Meet your new promoter. He's the boss, actually, from today. The name is Boss. Please sit. Great to have your company here. You have had many opportunities over the last five, six years to turn professional. So why now? Yeah, um, after, after winning the gold in 2012, um, I decided that I wanted to stay amateur and continue uh, my career as an amateur just because I wanted to um, leave the the um, amateur game, a world champion, as well as a double Olympic champion. So um, I decided to stay to fulfill my goals. Uh, I wanted to be a double Olympic champion, world champion, and leave ranked number one as well. You are, you are a star in and out of the ring already. So, so what is in it for you turning professional when you've already achieved that status but by fighting in the amateurs? Well, my hero was Muhammad Ali and I said from the first first time I saw him um, box on a on a rerun, um, I saw him box in the Olympics and then go on and become a world champion as a pro. I said that that's exactly what I wanted to do as well. So um, I wanted to turn pro and find a, a team that believes in my dream, Frank Warren and BT Sport and uh, Fox Nation, and take women's women's boxing to the next level and become a world champion and, and do great things. How different is it going to be from fighting in the amateurs? Um, I think it's going to be quite quite different, no, no headgear uh, for one. And I have to find my own team now. Um, with the amateurs you have everything just given on the table to you. There's doctors, there's physios, you know, everything is just there. And now I have to create my own team, but I'm actually, I'm really excited about doing that, having my own team. And knowing that we're all working together, we're all working to achieve the same goal, and which is to um, make me a world a world champion and take women's boxing to the to the next level. I was lucky enough to be uh, in Rio for the Olympics, and watching you in the final compared to London, the one thing that really struck me about how you dominated the tournament in Rio in a way you didn't do in London. L London was hard work and there was enormous pressure because you were the home star, of course, but you dominated the tournament from the first bell of the first contest through to winning that gold medal. Is that the difference in maturity, ring craft, knowledge, judgment of pace in the fight? Because you had it where you wanted it, really. Yeah, definitely. Going into Rio, um, I, was, I already had the experience. Um, I knew what it was like to go to an Olympics. I knew what it was like to, to qualify. I know what the pressure's like. I knew who I was going to be up against. I knew it was going to be um, a lot harder this time around because I was going in ranked number one and I was the, the one to beat. But um, it gave me the, the motivation to, to train harder and to know that, yeah, this is, this is what I want to achieve. I want to be a, a double Olympic champion. So I, I knew when I went, went into the ring that I was going to give 110% um, every time. But you have that. I think going in the second time, you're, you're a lot more confident just because um, you 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 know you know what it's about. You don't you don't you don't feel as anxious like oh I've just been caught with a shot. Okay, I, I need to get this point back. I need to you know you take take your time and you're a lot more a lot more focused. I felt that, that was very evident. I thought at, at the time. Now Frank Nicola has tried to outline what she intends to try to do for you. What do you intend to do for Nicola? Well, she'll be making her debut on the eighth of April at the MEN Arena in Manchester on the same card as. Uh, Terry Flanagan and the two Liams and then she'll be doing her homecoming on the 6th of May 
sorry, 13th of May with uh, Josh Warrington. <coughs> so that's going to be a great night for Leeds. Yeah. Leeds own the two of them, two yeah. heroes. That's going to be a fantastic night. So the plans are get those fights out of the way. And uh, I think that Nicola is going to be in a position where she'll be uh, within a year, more or less, challenging for a world title. I believe she has the, the ability. Is, to is that actually the key word for you at this stage, challenge? Because all your life, in and out of boxing, you have been challenged. You had to break down barriers and stereotypes in your personal life. Getting a, as a woman into boxing, showing that a woman can represent their country, showing that a woman can win medals amateur for their country. Is that what drives Nicola Adams, the next challenge? Yeah, it is. It's the, it's the next next challenge. I mean, I'm sure a lot of, peop a lot of people here before who would have thought me and Frank would be sat, on the, sat up here on the same team, but you know, um, it's nice. It's nice to see. I've, I've been able to change his mind. And, did you hurt? Uh, you, did he hurt your feelings? No, no. He, he, gave, he, gave, he said me, about women in boxing. He gave me more motivation. Even even more motivation to be sat here right now next to him. And you know, who knows? We might, we might even see the softer side of Frank now. <laughs> Trust me, it's only when the cameras are on me. Um, <laughs> For me, you know, listen, as I said at the beginning, I'm eating humble pie because it's never appealed to me when women's boxing. But when you look at the, what Nicola done, certainly in the Olympics, and you know, you get a cab, all the cab drivers, you know, you know some, some I know, some, and they talk, they talk to you about the sport, always mentioning Nicola. And I'm sitting there thinking, listen, you know, are you a dinosaur? You know, are you burying your head in the sands? It's here, and the way she fights and the way she's transformed the sport, I think, in the last. Was it five, six years from yeah. you know, watching watching women's boxing? It, it's been amazing, and uh, I've always appreciated, you know, not just Nicola, any any ladies who are, who are fighting. You know, they get they, the training is hard. You know, to de dedicate yourself and all your endeavours to try and win things. You can't you can't knock that in any any shape. Nor would you want to want to knock it. But what she's done is, for me, turn my head around and said, right, you know, women's boxing is here. We're on BT. Who am I to be? to be the person to say, I'm not going to do women's boxing on BT, no one's allowed to watch it, that's not going to happen. She's here and I'm delighted to be involved in this and uh, we're going to have a good, good fun time taking her all the way to the top. She's got the ability, there's no doubt about it. I think she could probably win a world title now, but that's not what it's about. It's about coming through, learning and uh, learning her trade. But the bottom line is, I am, you know, I'm very, very happy to be involved here. Terrific. And if you... Permit me, last word from you. Now you're in the pro game, you have to sell it. So, and you don't really need to sell yourself. But to Leeds, to Great Britain, to BT Sport, Nicola Adams, the future, your last yeah, word. Yeah, um, I'd just like to say thank you to everybody that's followed me thus far in my amateur career. And hopefully you'll continue to follow me into the pro ranks. There's exciting, exciting fights coming up. Um, I'm going to be enjoying the adventure and I'm sure I'll be able to bring some exciting fights to the arenas. Um, I'd just like to say, yeah, come along, 8th of April, I'll be there, Manchester Arena, doing the most. Let's get it on. Let's get it on. Fantastic. Thank you very much for being here.